All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here checking out. So we're sitting here in the office, and I've got right here in front of me, this is the Bull Radical. Now, we did a video on this guy a little while back, and uh, unfortunately, I got to send it back. But before we do that, I wanted to give you some more information based on my conversation with Ben over there at Bull. So while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and pull this guy out and I'll clear it, make sure. Always do that. Uh, <laughs> from personal experience, I can tell you, always do that. So let's go ahead and talk about this thing. So if you go online and look at their website, you'll see that the Bull SAS2 Radical does not come normally like what you see here. This is a full-blown custom Radical. Now you can buy this directly like you see here in this configuration just from them, the base model. And this is one of the reasons why we were talking about it. When you get into the 2011s, you can spend, well, I would say the, uh, the equivalent to this guy right here in the uh, Atlas Nemesis is probably going to run you about five or six thousand dollars, somewhere along in there, five grand. Uh, the base price with the polymer grip uh, and magwell is, I think, what do you say, three thousand ninety dollars. Now, what you're seeing right here is all the upgrades, everything that you can get on this guy for an additional $750. And that includes the steel grips, the uh, brass mag weld, the trigger job. Let's see, what else do we say? Uh, just all kinds of cool stuff, but I wanna make sure. Okay, so we got the grip, the trigger shoe, the mag weld, spring extractor, upgraded sear and disconnector, and the toolless guide rod. Always remember, guys, if you get a 2011, or if you have a 1911, switch out to that toolless guide rod, it's so nice. Uh, but anyway, and a custom, basically a custom hand milt, built firearm for uh, $750 plus, you know, uh, basically $338.40, $3,840, just like this. Now, the one that I was shooting had the nitro fin on it, which this does not come on it. You get a regular old mag, I mean a slide release slide hold depending on who you're with, <laughs> what party you come in. But in any case, uh, these things do come in nine millimeter and uh, 40 caliber. Let's go over some of those. Uh, so let's talk about this. I'm gonna go ahead and use, this is not is not a feature, but the sight block up here is actually milled into uh, par as part of the barrel. Those are the same piece, the sight block and the barrel. They're exactly the same. Uh, these things are made in Israel. They are test fired before they leave the factory. Now, one of the questions I had for Ben was, uh, what about fact, you know, warranty work? A lot of people are hesitant in buying a firearm that is manufactured way overseas. They do have certified uh, gunsmith who are here in the States. Uh, turnaround on these are really, really quick if you ever have any issues with them. Uh, each pistol is made by hand by a gunsmith and put their personal touch and turn around uh, in that when you get this thing, I kid you not, the trigger I'll pull on this guy is absolutely ridiculous. The reset is, is amazing, as a 2011 competition firearm should be. Uh, now, here's the thing. 2020 uh, for Bull Armor, you're going to see a lot of changes coming into effect, and they are being impacted by the COVID just like everybody else. However, uh, come about October or something, they're going to have uh, a new lineup. At least I think they are. <laughs> but uh, you're going to see a very unique style of firearm that's going to bridge the gap between competition and tactical, which I'm really looking forward to seeing, uh, and that should be a lot of fun. But Look at that thing. Uh, so let's just say $3,900, probably four grand out the door, tax, tax, title fee, body wash, uh, under body wash, dealer prep, that kind of stuff. But look at that thing. That's a beautiful firearm, especially when you start talking about the integrated and milled in sight block on the barrel. Very accurate piece of equipment. Uh, what else we got? That's it. The Bull Armory. We got to send this guy back. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I don't want to give this thing up. It's a beautiful firearm. Guys, if you're interested in it, uh, take a look at them. You can figure out the website. We're not allowed to say those kind of things on uh, our YouTube channel. I think it's bullarmory.com. In any case, uh, if you like the videos, 
Uh, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, uniform, 24-7 for freedom. Freedom is not free. That front sight, the fiber optic, is just smooth as a baby's rear end. I love the way that works. Let's go to Boy 32. I'm out. Y'all be good.